Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Mm, so first card out we have cannot be trusted. Well, this is already getting off to a great foot. We have Queen of Swords. Ooh, you guys do somebody does not trust somebody at all. Boundaries in place. We have the world. So we have Gemini Libra Aquarius. We have the world Libra energy for me. Five of Swords. Clarify the cannot be trusted. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody may be putting a lot of work and effort into you. It's almost like somebody may be coming in like, you know, blowing up your phone, put like really trying to get your attention or kind of like um, kissing your butt or something like that. Like someone's putting in a lot of work or effort into doing something and you guys may feel like Page of Wands. Yeah, there's somebody here that's coming in, like, blowing up your phone or they're coming in and, like, putting a lot of effort or really trying to get your attention and you don't trust this. You feel like this person makes a lot of false promises or they, they try to play on the soft spot that you have for them or they play on your weaknesses. You feel like you need to have your boundaries in place because you feel like this person is fickle. Like, you know, they, they don't ever keep their word. Two, three, four on the camera. They don't ever keep their word. They they leave they come and just they leave it just as fast as they come. You know what I mean? Like they they don't stay for a long time. So okay, we have the nine of wands here. Seven of swords. Resilience defensive. I just feel like you're done dealing with somebody deceiving you or lying to you. Like you're done. Like you're done with it. You want to close. You're done. Like you're just very defensive. Or you could have even possibly ended things with this person because you felt like you couldn't trust them and you've had boundaries in place. Yeah, we have the five of swords here too, playing mind games, conflict. Yeah, the devil here. Yeah, somebody is very toxic. I mean, you're not wrong. Somebody is toxic. Capricorn energy here. The six of cups. Mm, that could be past energy though. Let's think about the Six of Cups or the Page of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize for playing games and being toxic to you in the past. Yeah, tell me more. Or they were just emotionally really immature. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Ten of Wands. Yeah, and the Fool. Mm. What is the Ten of Wands? The Two of Pentacles. If this person was juggling or they had options, they have released those options. And they're, someone's going to take a leap of faith here. Aquarius energy. The King of Swords. Yes, this person has gained. Okay, so now we have the Queen and King of Swords out here. So there is a match here. Tell me more. It's time. Somebody feels like it's time. Like they're tired of running from this connection. They were tired of playing the games. They're tired of the toxicity. They feel like they're very clear that you're the one that they want or they had choices. They've chosen you. But I feel like, what is the king? Clarify the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, the six of pentacles and the emperor. I don't know. This Aries energy waiting, waiting on what? Page of swords. Waiting and watching on for what? Um, What about oh, divine timing? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Just heard the sirens going off. Um, somebody has just been waiting and watching for you or something. Or watching you and waiting on something here. Patience needed. Surrender to the unknown. Okay, so somebody's been, maybe this is you guys. You've been waiting to hear from this person. Curious to know what's going on with them. I don't know. It could be vice, you know, either way. Go either way. So what's this mean for my collective? Wishing. Wishing that what? Okay, you and this person are both, you're guarded towards them, but some, someone is wanting you back, but they're not, why are they not saying anything? Because they feel like you've gone cold on them. I don't know. They feel like you guys are like both in kind of in the same energy, like missing each other, wanting to manifest something between the, like 555 five, five on the camera, wanting change to happen in this connection i think there's a lot of like coldness or you and this person not speaking to each other right now but you guys are both kind of like wondering or curious about each other possibly even watching each other curious to know what the other person's doing or what's up with them or 
is you know is somebody gonna make a move it's just like it's kind of like a stalemate situation how does my collective feel about this stalemate or this like three of cups what are the three of cups sorry guys loud truck outside frozen you oh there's mm, eight of swords what's something with my collective though the lovers and the high priestess what's your intuition telling you five of cups that they're in regret you guys can feel what's but what you know this person's regretful some of you guys are just kind of beating yourselves up because you're like how did i not realize this person was putting me in a third party situation like how did i allow myself to get into this type of situation there's something that this person did to you and it looks like it was in regards to a third party that you guys are thinking about or that you cannot let go of. Like, so is my, what, is this person going to take action toward them or what? Is this person going to take action? Is this person going to take action? Awakening. They're in the process of going through an awakening. I mean, we do have surrendering here. Who had a reading like this last night? Sag. Some of you guys can be Sagittarius. Or have such placements. Yeah, somebody feels like it's time. This person feels like it's time for the two of you to come together. Tell me more. Yes, they heavily. Ace of Cups, the awakening, and it's time. Somebody feels like it's time. They want to express emotions to you. They want to have a new beginning with you. How does my collective feel about this? <laughs> you guys are stressed out about this. Or you guys are, let's see, ripped apart. Eight of Swords. What are you guys up in your head about? The Wheel of Fortune. Strength, divinely guided to do what? So you were divinely guided to end this situation with this person because they were stressing you out. And I feel like it, it, it took a while for you guys to get clarity or to get out of your head about the situation. Yeah, I think the divine definitely guided you to have the strength to end something with this person. And now what? It's so that change could happen. And you guys have been waiting a long time to see some type of results or change. Whether that's, you know, you manifesting a better romantic interest into your life or this person coming back, correct? And I feel like Spirit is saying that, yeah, Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. You guys have, you guys may not want to admit it to yourselves or some of you guys do know this. But whoever this reading is for, you guys have been somewhat holding on to the thought that this is your person. And that you guys were supposed to have a happily ever after. Or maybe one day you guys can have a happy, happy union. And Spirit says, see, what's the tea? Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to know what's going on with you. Yeah, you may hear from this person suddenly. And what's that leading to? Six of Swords. What's Six of Swords? Clean up. Cutting karmic ties, doing the inner work. What's up with you, though? The Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, and the Four of Cups. Somebody feels like you're ignoring them. I did I say somebody is going to maybe start blowing your phone up. Why do they feel like you're ignoring them? Or you, you maybe are rejecting them. Because I told you, the, the situation is at a stalemate. Yeah, they feel like you either, either have ghosted them or like you've just stopped talking to them. They don't feel like it's over, but they think maybe you think it's like you're, you're wanting to be done with them. I don't know, but somebody feels like kind of rejected by you or ignored by you because what about the Nine of Cups? Unawakened. Somebody knew that you made them happy, but they didn't understand this connection. Because they needed to heal. And I just saw children on the back of the deck. So they maybe needed to heal their inner child. Um, see, didn't I just say this? Somebody wanted to spend some time with you or something like that. or But you guys rejected this person. Or they were still resisting the connection. Like they wanted to spend time with you, but they were resisting it. They couldn't make up their mind about whether or not they wanted a commitment. These commitment issues stem from their childhood. Why is this the reading um, for my collective spirit? Why is this the reading? Why is this the reading for the Twin Flame Collective? Okay, we have the Hermit Virgo Energy and we have the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio Energy. What about this King of Cups? The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, and now what? The Ace of Wands. Somebody here is like in a lot more stable energy. 
either this is a new person coming towards you or this is that same person. What does this have to do with the, the old person? Is this the old person? The Queen of Cups. Ooh. How about the Queen of Cups? The Ace of Pentacles. No, somebody is ready to do the damn thing here. I'm telling you guys. Somebody's like, they, they, ex oh my gosh, I was literally just about to say, they've been in hermit mode, dark night of the soul. This person's been going through the dark night of the soul. This person has definitely um, matured emotionally just all around. They could have found, they could have freed themselves from something or they're like in a lot more independent energy or if they were with somebody else, they're single now. It's like this person's, we have the Ace of, Pen Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here. And the Queen of Cups. This person feels like there's mutual, like they love you, that there's mutual love between the two of you. They want another chance at having like marriage with you or stability with you, commitment with you. And this is a, look at all these aces, guys. Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody is ready for a new beginning. I think that's for some of you, you've been waiting a really long time for this. I think I've been talking about this for a few weeks now. What about the Five of Wands though? Date. What about Date and Five of Wands? The Awakening. Oh, what's that do with my collective? The Ace of Cups. What about Date and Awakening? The Sun and the Three of Wands. This person was dating other people. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. They had options or they were, they were trying to put you in competition for them. I think that at some point you weren't the only person that they were dating or the only person that they were spending time with. Um, but it's like it's like something that's become very clear to them that you're the one that they want to take things to the next level with or they have they really regret trying to put you in competition or dating you know more than one person at once they feel like the love is with you the options that they were still entertaining could have been people that they were dealing with before you And I feel like that there was uncertainty here. Pisces energy with the moon. Yeah, they could have been sleeping with more than one person. Yeah, they were they were dealing with more than one person for sure. Give me a few more. Yeah, and hiding their feelings. What about hiding their they have a fear of vulnerability. This person um doesn't invest too much and they like to be in like non-committal or they like to entertain multiple options because of their insecurities and their fear of vulnerability. They don't like to get in too deep with just one person. Hmm. Hmm. What else do we need to know about this person? We have leap of faith. So yeah, we had the fool earlier. The fool can be is like a leap of faith card for me at least. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. Just say that when they were dealing with you, they were dealing with all these different people, and they felt like they didn't have any. They didn't have any. They weren't. Emo, they felt like they weren't emotionally invested in any of these options. They were just having fun with them, dating them, spending time with them, whatever, sleeping with them, and then they they. But there was something about you that stood out to this person and they did, they're recognizing that the love that they have, they do have love for you and that it also runs deep. So, yeah, but they had a lot of baggage. I think that, I feel like when you met this person, they had a lot of options or they had like a lot of karmic ties or something like that, which we did see the cleanup card. They had to get their life together. Like they had to change their life. They had to cut people off. They had to separate ties. Yeah, because this person had a lot of baggage. Like I say, this person could have been a people hoarder. Like, they never completely, like, closed off people. Like, they maybe, like, stopped talking to them for a little bit, but they would always, like, kind of leave that door open. Like, they had, like, a, they had, like, a roster. I don't know how else to put it or something like that. But, or, and baggage can also be just them needing to heal, you know? And it says there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. We have on a pedestal. Yeah, you're the, they feel, like, I'm telling you, they feel like you stand out from the rest. Like, they feel like you stand out from the rest. There's something different about you. And I feel like you were able to trigger um, like the emotions in this person. They actually feel something for you. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Yep. And I think that they've known this for a while, but they haven't been telling you about it um, out of pride. 
We had the Heidi Feelings card that came out a little bit ago. They've been carrying a torch for you all along, but they're unable to confess their love due to the fear of rejection. So I don't know why this person thought you would reject them. It could have just been their own insecurities because that did come out as well. You have divine intervention. They are experiencing many tire moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. What about, um, why did, what was triggering this fear in this person? Okay. Yeah, they're just emotionally unavailable. Yeah, this person was emotionally unavailable. And I think that a big part of them felt like they couldn't be what you needed them to be or they could never be what you needed them to be or something like that. You guys definitely set boundaries with this person. You're like, no, if you're not going to give to me that, if, that you set the ground rules. And, and then I think you did maybe tolerate some things from this person for a while. But I think you got to the point where you put your foot down and they know that you're not playing with them. But yeah, they're they're hopeful for the future. They're opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. See, didn't I say the situation's kind of at a stalemate right now? Like, neither one of you, both of you, like, you're struggling with being vulnerable with this person now. They're, they've been struggling with being vulnerable with you. And so it's until, until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. It's like you and this person are both stubborn. Yeah. Yeah, or both of you guys had some unresolved childhood wounds. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. And I already touched on that earlier. That they, they were sending you mixed signals. This person knows that the inconsistency in them being, like, fickle with you, they they really do regret this. You, They just were super intimidated by you. And now they're haunted by what they've done and that they may never get another chance with you or that you are with somebody else now. And just they're in heavy regret. With that divine intervention card, obviously the divine intervened in this situation and brought in some teller moments to fix this person's vision so that they could see things clearly, so that they could see the truth. Um, what were those, before I move on, what, what did those teller moments look like for this person? Hmm. What did those teller moments look like? There could have been um, outside interference as well. What did these teller moments look like for this person? Ooh. What? Unseen factors. Energy cords. Well, first of all, <laughs> one of the tower moments was this person just, if you have been intimate with this person, that was like kind of like a tower moment for this person or something like that. Like them, because it says this person's used to just like sexual, purely lustful sexual connections. But it says their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. So I'm telling you, they feel more than just like fun. It's, it, it's, it's something deeper with you and they're recognizing that. There's more to this love story, though. You cannot see it now. There's still much more to unfold. So Spirit says it's not over. But what? Give me one more card about the tower. Slipped away. You losing you. This person feels like they never even like fully committed to you and they lost you. Like they never even were in a full-blown relationship with you and they just, they let you slip away. They, they didn't even, like, they're viewing you as the one that got away. And they never even probably were in a full-blown relationship with you. Yeah, though they never had you to them, you will always be the one that got away. They, re they regret the chances they didn't take. They wish that they would have taken this leap of faith on you a long time ago. That they didn't let their fears and insecurities, you know, keep them from, you know, hold them back and keep this relationship from flourishing because it did. Yeah, what does this ghosted card keep coming out for? I don't know if this person goes to you or you goes to them or what, but somebody, yeah, let's see. See, I just saw drinking the Kool-Aid. So, yeah, somebody definitely was being influenced by people around them, too. Their opinions. tumultuous we have experienced so many similar things in our lives i always thought i was the only one to have had these experiences i take comfort in when you truly understand me huh is that how they feel about you it's almost like this person's realizing that you guys aren't as different as they thought you got like you were i finally see and understand everything didn't i say that the, the, these tower moments had to happen so that they could see things clearly so they could understand i'm feeling hopeful for the future I'm envisioning you back in my life with, while continuously working on myself. What about tumultuous lives? Maybe this person feels like you guys have been through similar, or maybe they settled with somebody that they felt like was more like them or more like similar to them. 
Yeah, they chose what they knew. Unsatisfied and feels alone while with someone. Your wants, needs, and desires are being chronically unmet. Accepting less than what you deserve and that doesn't exactly see it right with you. Give me my card on uh, tumultuous lives. No, definitely not. What's this have to do with you guys? What's this have to do with my collective? Watching you. See, they're watching you. They don't want... Whoever this person is, this person they settled for, who they thought that they were stuck with or whatever... They're watching you, though. Creates fake accounts to stay up to date, pretends to not care, but becomes obsessive. Late night scrolling on social media platforms. I am devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to... They know that they... They know now that this person is definitely not what they want. Yeah, like, if they were confused before, they are. They know that this person is definitely not the one. And they're focused on you because they feel like you are the one. Yeah, I am devoted to returning to you and I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of it. This person knows that they don't want this other person. So let's give me more, one more card on the current situation. See, there it is. Tower moments. Changes that are difficult and necessary for growth. Moments in life that push us to be better and do better because we deserve better. So what this person is going through right now is it says, I feel my life is falling apart and being pulled apart. No matter what I try to build, things keep crumbling around me. I wish you were here to help. You were the only thing solid in my life. They had this person had to feel your absence or lose you to truly appreciate who you were to them, unfortunately, because I think that this person's realizing that like you like you were very solid for like you were stable. Like they chose instability. You know more card on tower moments. We have intuition. You guys may be feeling that this person is going through tower moments. Yeah, you may be feeling that this person's going through the, they're going through turmoil right now. Yeah, they're 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 focused on wanting to be with you in the future, but right now they're going through some some difficult changes here. But whatever they're going through, spirit says this is what they need to go through, and this is what's going to lead them to grow or continue to grow. It's like they're going through a lot of upheaval. That's leading to it says a light bulb moment, moments of realization, direct knowledge from source without rational thought, a deep knowing and understanding without evidence of what is this? glow up so that somebody is yeah i'm working on myself every day i hope to improve spiritually and emotionally to become a better person that deserves you i'm slowly moving toward moving forward in my life and i hope to reunite with you one day someone they're getting their shit together to be with you that's all i can say what is the intuition saying though winter time see we have Feb december 22nd through february 6th that's the present moment what about the present so they're they're working on themselves at this present moment but what about this present Oop. what about third party situation Another person got in the way, feeling betrayed and second-guessing self-worth. Are they being betrayed by a third party right now? What about the third party situation? They're still in the midst of some type of third party karmic crap, okay? But it says, I just want you to know how much I miss you and how much you mean to me. It's been difficult moving on without you, but I'm waiting on the perfect time to return. And I am trusting in the process. So this person is right now going through a reinvention process. They're possibly going, they're going through the dark night of the soul. They're going through some type of third party shit yeah it says i made you feel inadequate because i chose someone over you i regret the pain i have caused you due to my selfishness and physical needs you didn't deserve being treated as an option so yeah they're going through and it says metamorphosis of mind and spirit changing oneself into something better working on shadow aspect and becoming aware of strengths and weaknesses so they're going through some some really difficult lessons but they have their sights set on you like they're going through it but they're watching you and they have their sights set on you and they're trying to work on being better Give me one more card on third party situation. Okay, Aquarius could be involved. What does that do with third party? Cosmic love. They may be with a third party or whatever they got going on, but Spirit is saying that yeah, there may be, yeah, there's distance or but it's like I actually like I didn't care, but I did. I just needed my time and space to think on my own. I didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because I wasn't ready to put in the work. Okay, but what does that do with a third party? If you really knew who I was and how I felt, you may not love me anymore. I'm afraid you'll reject me if I show you who I really am. What does this have to do with tie it together? New beginnings. I don't know. But what about the third? Are they, what's happening with the third party situation? They're not talking to you right now. Words are jumbled or words were left unsaid. This person knows that they have to tell you the truth about a third party. Yep. They know that they have to, that's what it is too. Like, even if they're not with this other person anymore, they know that they're going to have to tell you the truth about it. 
Yeah, t yeah, it says words are jumbled or words were left unsaid, unable to speak or unwilling to say the truth. Yeah, they're not ready to come forward and tell you the truth about this third party situation that they chose over you. Because either they know that you're aware of it. They know that you're aware that they chose someone over you or even even so. They just feel like this is something that they need to be honest with you about. We have twin flame on the back of the deck. Yes, we know this is your twin who's hiding their feelings, has been hiding their feelings for you, but they're low-key, they're freaking obsessed with you. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. They feel like you are their divine femme or their divine masculine. Um, And I do think that they, they chose, they were, they chose something over you, but when they chose to, they're going through a lot of turmoil. Like things are kind of falling apart for them right now, but yeah, look at this oh hold on or they don't know how to tell you about everything that they're going through with this third party or this like tumult to like all this like this turmoil that they're going through they don't know how to tell you about it there is so much for me to tell you but i'm unable to express myself in a rational way so i'd rather keep quiet so they're keeping quiet right now they are thinking about a new beginning with you they want to have a fresh start they are trying to work on themselves i think that this person is not coming towards you because they got something going on still with a third party and they don't know how to explain that to you or they don't want to have to explain that to you I think they also don't want to have to tell you the truth about it. But I think that you, they don't want to have to tell you the truth about what your intuition already knew. Okay. And um, I think you maybe have even confronted this person about it, confronted this person about it.